Welcome everybody to Larry's Fountain Pen. I'm Larry the Pen Guy, or the Pen Bug Guy, or the Guy, or the Pen, or whatever it is. In and out, up, down, whatever. Are you ready for the show? Let the show begin. Ta-da! Alright, here we go. Here is the box. If you're familiar with this box, like I am, then we'll open it up. This box is called the Pen Mystery Box. And it comes from the pinscription.com. Is that correct? I bought this uh, myself, was not given to me. And uh, I, I do like uh, the mystery in the box. You never know what you're going to get until you open the box up. For me, that works great. For others, I don't know. Speaking for myself, I think I'm kicking this one. I'm loving it. We'll get into the box now. As you open the box, there is the pin in the case, and it comes with a stamped envelope and paper, so you can write a letter to whom you want. You can even write it to prescription uh, folks and let them know how much you enjoy their products, or what would you like to see about their products, or write to your friends, whoever. But it's all right here in the box, just for you, and it comes to your door, just for you. And, yeah, you know, really, believe it or not, I really do enjoy that mystery in the box. That's, for me, that really works really well. Uh, there's some folks that will say, well, I want to know what it is. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't want to wait and... Find out what it is. What if I don't like it? What if I don't this? What if I don't that? There's too many what if I don'ts and what all that. Just enjoy the mystery, the hype from it. Get inside with it. That's how I look at it. So, here we go. And the pin comes in the cardboard box sleeve from Copeland. Nice pin case, which I already do like. And we'll open it up. Are you ready? Oh, well, maybe it's under here. Nope. But it does come with two cartridges, one blue, one black, and the uh, instructions and the warranty. And, of course, on the back of the padded uh, case, Cochlin. Really? All right. For me, I'm a big Cochlin fan. I really am. I have quite a few other pens. So... Let me get all this good stuff ready. And here is that beautiful pen. Look at it. Can we see it real good there, Mr. Announcer? Yes. All right. Look at this beautiful pen. Now, believe this or not, I have been looking at this pen for some time. I don't know why I never purchased it at the beginning. And then I heard they were going to discontinue this line. Lord behold, here it is right before my eyes, talking about Deja Vu right here. This is the Conklin Empire Stardust Blue. Beautiful fountain pen. It's got a fluted cap with a shimmering blue acrylic resin throughout. Look at that beautiful stardust. It kind of reminds me like... Um, you're looking up in the sky, it's really dark outside, there's no lights anywhere, and all you can see is the stars up in the sky. Or if you want to take it a step further, like if you're in outer space and you're kind of checking everything out, that's what it reminds me of, beautiful fountain pen. Uh, and what's cool about this pen, get everything here together. It has the close and shut twist magnet lock system. Now that is cool. It just, watch, watch, here we go. Boom, boom. Now that is cool. I like that. I really like that. that, that that's new. So as we go up the cap, First of all, you're going to see a nice, beautiful, thick band 
And then in the middle of that band, it's got red, a bold popping red stripe around that. Now, Cochran's been around for over 120 years. Okay. They've been applying methods on making fountain pens, making pens collectible, loved by from beginners to even pen enthusiasts of all walks of life, all over the world. The Empire right here is a new lineup design with a torpedo shape with a tapered end from a quality of shimmering acrylic resin. So, I'm going to take this pen apart. And we're going to take a journey up to the top of the finial. And you see the shape of that finial. And on the clip, it has Cochlin on the clip. And, well, let me put this back together. On the back of the pen, I don't know if you can see it, but it says patent made in Italy. And look at the design, if you can, right in here, how they've made the cap. So, you know, I'm really impressed with this torpedo shape with the tapered ends. It looks really, really nice. Look at that. It just really stunning, beautiful fountain pen. And you can see right here the imprints. I mean, it's just a beautiful fountain pen. I, I, I'm really overwhelmed how great looking this fountain pen is. So let's take off the cap and see. First of all, getting ahead of myself, let's go on down the barrel. And there is a slight step off where the cap connects to the barrel. Nothing sharp. It does have a chrome section, not a big section. But if you hold your fingers up here because you have large fingers, that's going to uh, accommodate your large fingers well. And I don't think that would be uncomfortable. I've been writing with this pen for now a while, and uh, I found this pen to be very productive. Uh, fits really nice in my hand, and it writes extremely well. But there are some people that uh, just have really oily fingers, sweaty fingers, and they just might... Slip on down to the end. But I've never had that problem, thank goodness. So there's a pin post. Well, let's see here. And it does post securely. Okay? So we got that. And get the looking glass out. This is the Conklin's new nib in here with a bark nib. So I am pleased about that. This Bach nib sings. It's a fine Bach nib, nice and wet. Let's unscrew the barrel, and here is the converter that comes with it. And just let me check. And I'll just take it out for those. It's a pull out and push in. And I'll make sure it's inked up good enough. Get ready to write. But uh, very nice fountain pen. It's got that fluid, fluid, I'm sorry. <laughs> the cap and the body is designed with that silver accent with the clip displays. Like I said, the Conklin name up here. That, and that looks really brilliant. I love that. And, you know, it's hand-painted in this blue lacquer. And with that cap band, it's painted, like I was saying, red. That stripe around that band, that just makes it pop. I, I like the design. I like where they're going with this pen. I like the colors. I like the stardust. I like the name. I love the brand. I love the design. I love the way it looks, the way it feels. 
I love the way it performs. There's nothing I don't like about it. I like the nib in it, the box. It's a fine nib. The length of the pin closed is 5.62 inches. Posted, you're going to get a 6.86 inches. And the overall weight is going to be 1.13 ounces. And this color, not the pin, but the color has been discontinued. So I'm lucky I got in on the back end when I did. And the nib sizes are extra fine, fine, medium, and omniflex. So there you have it. This is the a pin that I really am glad I got. I wanted this pin. So when I'm telling you about don't wait so long. If you see a pin that you really are connected to, don't wait so long because you never know when that pin is going to be DC. So let's get to writing. And I'm going to be using KWZ Hawaii Blue, baby. Some of my favorite blues right here. I had to order two bottles. All right. So here we go. Okay. And this is with a fine nib. And this is going to be... And we're going to do a few little swirls here. And we're going to wet test. Wet, 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 wet. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. That's what I like. That's how I roll. A nice, smooth, wet, wonderful nib. Reverse writing. And you will get some different line variation. So that's cool. So there it is. The Cochlin. Empire. Stardust. Blue. With a Bach Fine Nib. Yep. This is a winner. Thank you for watching the review on this utterly fantastic fountain pen. Yes, I'm a big Conklin fan. Until next time, my friends, be safe and don't text and drive. I'll catch you later. Peace.